Hi, I'm Michael Good, and welcome to the first course in the Secure Software Lifecycle Professional Series. In this course, you'll be learning about secure software concepts. This maps to the first domain in the CSSLP certification. I've been working in information security long enough to have earned the feeling of being old at work, and I love sharing what I've learned over the years to help others. Since you're watching this video, I have a hunch that you're interested in securing applications. You may even want to get the CSSLP certification from ISC Squared. My goal is to help you achieve your goal, and I built this course to do just that. ISC Squared is one of the most recognized certification bodies in the world, and their CISSP certification is the most popular one in the InfoSec industry. While the CISSP focuses on a broad set of information security knowledge, the CSSLP focuses on application security in particular. When hiring managers are looking for someone to help improve their organization's application security, the CSSLP certification will really stand out on a candidate's resume. I've held multiple hiring manager roles during my career, and I can vouch for that firsthand. The CSSLP certification covers eight security domains that are related to application security. These domains cover everything from ensuring that any commercial or open source apps that you're bringing into your environment have been built securely, to design considerations when you're planning to build your app. This particular video focuses on the first domain, secure software concepts. Are you ready to begin learning about application security? Great, let's get started. You may be pondering what you're going to get into throughout this course. This course is intended to teach you about the secure software lifecycle, application security, but it's also a certification prep course for the CSSLP. I want you to learn the material and be able to pass the certification exam. I want you to be able to understand and remember technical concepts in a practical manner. I'll be presenting technical concepts, providing context around those concepts, and sharing some stories about how I've applied this stuff in the real world. You also have lots of opportunities throughout the course to test your knowledge with some assessment questions I'll ask. This is a great practice for the exam process itself. Since this course aligns with the first CSSLP domain, Secure Software Concepts, we're going to cover two key concepts. First, we'll review core concepts. This includes ideas like the CIA triad, authentication and authorization controls, and enforcing things like accountability and non-repudiation. Then we'll cover security design principles. You may have heard of least privilege and separation of duties. Those are just two of the principles we'll cover in this section. Learning the concepts in this domain is essential to laying a strong foundation on which you can build a secure application. I'm pretty opinionated on the importance of the concepts laid out by the CSSLP, not because of the cert's ability to advance your career, but because application security is truly important. It's also one of my favorite arenas within InfoSec. I've been doing it for years and haven't gotten bored yet. Actually, I just keep getting more interested, I think, if that's possible. Technology continues to change rapidly, and so do the apps that enable us to interact with that technology. Take video games, for example. Over a few decades, the industry has changed from text-based games like Adventure Island and simple ball games like Pong to a multi-billion dollar industry with competitive gaming that relies on internet-connected applications. With its popularity and money on the line, attackers know that finding and exploiting an application's security weakness could lead to fame, like script kiddies do with distributed denial of service attacks, DDoS, or a payday for financially motivated cyber criminals. If a criminal exploits an app's security weakness, they might be able to cheat or get virtual loot that they didn't pay for. That's pretty popular among games on the platform Steam. But what happens if cyber criminals turn their attention to critical national infrastructure? The industrial control systems that control power, water, and public communications have become increasingly dependent on applications, while consumer-facing applications have been modernized to keep pace with customer expectations. 
The same cannot be said for the apps controlling our most sensitive infrastructure. If an attacker were to exploit a weakness in one of these systems, the end result could be loss of life on a massive scale. Oh, and have you thought about how much software is running in modern cars? Charlie Miller and Chris Valasek, two security researchers, were featured in a 2015 Wired article where they demonstrated how they were able to remotely hack into a vehicle and take control. I'm recording this in 2022, so a lot has changed and there might be a lot more weaknesses too. So as more and more cars become self-driving, people like you and me are really, really hoping that the people creating the software in those cars are doing their best to secure them. Physical safety concerns aside, I also believe that privacy should be both an expectation and a human right. How do you think organizations manage our healthcare data, financial data, or PII? If you guess software, then you're right. Hundreds of millions of records have been compromised since we started tracking those numbers and publicly disclosed data breaches. Just think of the disaster that was Equifax. My information was, was disclosed in that, as well as most Americans. How many breaches could have been mitigated with stronger application security controls? Application security is just one of multiple domains necessary for protecting the systems and data that process and store all this information. But make no mistake, it's a really, really important one. At the end of the day, protecting apps is not about the technical aspects. It's about protecting the people that use these applications. It's about making sure criminals and other malicious actors cannot exploit security weaknesses and do harm. By improving your application security knowledge, you can actually do good in the world. So I'll see you in the next video where we'll be reviewing the CIA triad.